Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. How to do the basic setting for this watch, Casio G-Shock GA700. First, you will need to be in the timekeeping mode, and to do that, you can just press and hold the mode button until you hear the double beep sound. Okay, now we are in the timekeeping mode, and you can change the display, the digital one, by pressing the reset button. So now it's time, and if you press this one, it will become date, and so on, vice versa. Okay, next we will do the hands alignment before we do the digital clock adjustment. So to do the hands alignment, press and hold the adjust button about 6 seconds. So still hold the adjust button, don't release yet, until you see the edge dot set, meaning the hands setting. So the hour and the minute hands pointing out to this zero position. And if not, you will need to adjust by pressing the reset button to move to the left side. Or counterclockwise and you can also use the start button to move to the right side or clockwise anyway for this watch the module is different from older G-Shock modules so you will need to set the hand alignment pointing out to zero not to the current time okay and then next if you already done the hand alignment you can press the just button to exit from the hands alignment Okay, and now we are returned to the timekeeping mode. After this, we will set the digital clock. And to do that, we can press and hold the adjust button. But now only 3 seconds. And yes, this one is the time zone. We can set that one now. So press the start button to move to the right side of the map or to the east. Okay, and then use the reset button to move to the left side of the map or to the west. Okay, and then you will need to press the mode button to move to the next item. And that is the daylight saving. So this one, you can activate by pressing the start button. Okay, and yes, use the start button also to deactivate. Okay, now press again the mode button. It will move to this one, the time format, 24 hour or 12 hours. So to change the time format, just press the start button. Okay. And then... Again, press the mode button. Now is this one, the second. If it is 30 or more, if you press the start button, it will become zero with additional minute like this. See, okay, zero with uh, additional one minute. And if it is 29 or less, it will become zero without additional minute. So like this one. Okay. Now press again the mode button. We are moving to the hour, 21. And yes, you can increase by using the start button or decrease using the reset button. Okay, next, press the mode button. And now is the minute. You can also use the start button to increase and reset button to decrease. Okay, next, press again the mode button. And now is the year, 2023. Again, you can use these two buttons to increase and decrease. So start will increase and reset will decrease. Okay, press again the mode button. Now is the month. Again, the same thing. Start will increase, reset will decrease. Okay, now moving on to the date. Start will increase, reset will decrease. Okay, press again the mode button. Now is the key tone. So this one, if you want the button operation to be not silent or have a beep, then let it key, something like this. But if you want to change to mute, then just press the start button. And now it is mute. But I will just leave it with a key tone, okay? And then press again the mode button. This is the length of the backlight or the length of the illuminator. You can change 1 meaning 1.5 seconds and press the start button. 3 meaning 3 seconds. Okay, now let me just change to 3. Okay, and then press the mode button and return to the CD selection and done. You can now press the adjust button to exit from the adjust mode. Okay, and yes, that's all for the setting of the time and calendar and also the basic settings and i've also changed the setting of the light so let me show you it should be three seconds now okay nice and that's all for the basic settings of this watch casio g-shock ga700 and anyway if you want to know more about this watch i will also upload the review and also the more detailed tutorial okay thank you for watching don't forget to click like subscribe and i will see you again in the next video have a great day.